I I just did a video on how to find the center of a, a block text and straight lines. I thought you know there'd be this would be pretty easy even on a, even on a S. So we're gonna this is a artistic text aerial. We're gonna go to object and convert it to a curve. We got to do that. Take the shape tool and grab those two nodes. Right click, break apart. Take those two nodes. Right click break apart, get your virtual segment delete key, and delete that line that you just broke apart. Now we need to grab it and go to object and break the curve apart. Now we have individual lines. And we're going to go, we're going to take our parallel dimension tool and find out how wide this is. And it's 0.97. And so we're going to take this center line, go to uh, effects, contour, uh, 0.485 would be a contour, half of it. There we go. Now you need to select it all, go up to object, break the three objects apart, take your node and select that one. Hold down the shift key, go ahead and select all three, right click, break it apart. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that line. Move up to the top one. Take and go ahead and just select these two. Hold down your shift key and select all those. Right click, break apart, get your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines. As a matter of fact, you can actually de delete this line. So there is your center line of those two fonts for what we did earlier. Let's just try it. Let's get a circle about that big. Put one there. Matter of fact, we're gonna put it like right on the edge of that line. I'm gonna hit the plus key on my keyboard. And then I'm gonna come down to that. I'm gonna hold down the shift key and select both these. You know what? That isn't gonna really work. Let's just move these circles up because we gotta blend them. So let's select them all, go to effects. Whoop. Sometimes I hit the bevel. Effects, blend, and let's blend them eight times, see what happens. It's not gonna be enough. Let's go like 15 times, hit apply, go down and get a new path, put on the new path. I didn't hit the path. Go along and blend along full path. We don't have enough, but what's so nice about this, you can just keep adding more and more and hit apply again. That's pretty close. Go up here, go to object and break the blend apart. I would go ahead and select it again, go to object, group and ungroup, then grab that black line and just hit, del hit delete. I'm getting the whole thing, I must not have ungrouped it. Object, group and ungroup. Grab that black line, which you can, there we go. And I don't know that I nudged this over. Hopefully I did, but I can just nudge it back. And there's you some circles. Kinda, I mean, the S isn't conformed perfectly. And you can always play around with these circles um, and delete some or whatever you wanna do. Anyway. Hope that made a little bit of sense and thank you for watching.